Hi queens, today on Friend Recreates My Makeup, Wendy's going to be doing this red editorial look that I did the other day. Starting off strong with some super harsh contour, and then she's dipping into the blue shadow. What's going on here? And then I see the crystals, I start to piece it together. She put her own twist on it and did it, but in blue. I love it. I'm going to be testing out the NYX Cosmetics Avatar Collection and then going to the Avatar premiere. I just did my base and my brows, and now we're looking at the highlighters. There's a gold one, a more bluish green one, and also a pink one. Love this pink one, and I think I want to use it with my blush. Grabbing some of that, applying that to the cheekbone, and now dipping into our blush in this palette. I'm using the pink ear shade. Look at that. So cute. Popping our highlighter even a little bit more with that white shade. Now I'm going to do a fun eye look. Mapping out with the navy blue shade, I want my eye to kind of mimic the shape of the character. Smoking that out even more with the lighter blue. Now pop in this shade on the inner corner. I'm going to quickly do this over here. Finished the eyes and also added some dots. I'm going to use this lipstick. We got three glosses. This one on top. Setting spray. Here's the final look. I love how it turned out. I'm going to be trying Kiss Falscara. Let's go. So basically, these are DIY lash extensions. So we got a bond and a seal. First, we apply the bond to the lash. Now we grab one of these puppies and put it underneath. There's one. Two. Three. Okay, I think this side is done, so now we gotta put on the seal. So I guess we just put that on like mascara. So here's our before and here's our after. I feel like it looks really good. I'm gonna try the other side. I just sealed the other side and now I'm gonna give them the wear test. I'm curious to see how long they last. But so far, I would say nine out of 10 and I would recommend. I'm gonna be attempting 100 layers of eyelashes. Layer one. Layer 10. Layer 20. This is only 30 layers. Where am I gonna put the next 70? Only 40 layers. This isn't even half. 50 layers? We're officially halfway there. 60 layers. 70 layers, and my eyebrows are officially gone. 80 layers, this is all we got left. 90 layers? We're so close. It's itching and burning and I can't see. It's so thick. This is what 100 layers of eyelashes looks like. Taking this off is not gonna feel good. Yesterday I saw my sister apply her foundation with a spatula, so now I'm gonna try it. Drag it down. I have my spatula, let's do it. Putting foundation on my palette. Ooh, dip this side in with a really thin coat. Okay, this might take a couple tries. Yeah, so that's on me. Maybe more like sideways? No. Okay, that worked. I think just like perfectly straight. Okay, there we go, we have our first layer down. Try that side again. Second layer. Forehead should be fun. Gently buff that out. So I'm only blending around the edges. Stop, because why does it look so good? No, because I'm in shock right now. I don't know if you're supposed to put your contour on before the rest of your makeup or after the rest of your makeup, but it doesn't matter because men are stupid. So long as you look like a newborn baby, they are willing to mate with you. I'm poor. So I have this contour palette and this contour stick. I regret buying both, I must warn you. The transition from beginning to end might be startling. First things first, check your flesh. As you can see here, I have no flesh. Contouring is a very dangerous game. Once, a man walked in on me while I was contouring. I had to pretend I was schizophrenic so he'd think that I was playing in cat shit and he'd leave me alone. It was a sad day. If the men find out we can shapeshift, they're going to tell the church. Eliminate the nose. You can pretend that you have no nostrils. Men will be bewitched and hand over their wallets. Men don't like nostrils. You want to look like a pterodactyl. Men love pterodactyls. <laughs> If the men find out we can shapeshift, they're going to tell the truth. Y'all probably already saw that video, but we're gonna be trying that. I'm gonna start off by drawing our little pinwheel design. Nice. Starting to fill that in with my little contour color. Now let's do some concealer. I'm gonna fill in this square. I think I'm done with the concealer, so now I'm gonna add some foundation. Definitely right here. We are good with our foundation. Now for some blush. Right on the cheekbone. Lighter blush. Finish it off up here. Now who wants to see me blend it? The brow wax is strong enough to hold and support the weight of the false lash. Place the lash right where the metal meets the rubber. The smallest amount of boo. Just kiss the lash. Give it a good little crimp. I need to know if this works. 
First step is to curl the lashes. Curl. Now taking some eyebrow wax, put that on the curler. Now eyelash glue on spoolie. And like you said, we're just going to kiss the lash. Now I put my lash on the curler. And now we crimp. It did not line up or stick as flawlessly as I hoped. Let me try again. Okay, perfectly placed. Now we crimp. Oh, that one definitely worked a little better. I would say I added more glue that time and crimped it really good. I think the hack is a little bit harder than applying them normally, but it did work. It just takes practice. 7 out of 10. Transfer proof lip liner. I bought the product and we're going to try it. So this is supposed to be a peel off brow tint and it is from Maybelline. So let's just open it up and apply it to the lip. The bottom is done. I tried to make it perfect and I'm really hoping this turns out. It says let dry for 20 minutes. I think we can speed it up. I'm using the shade light brown, by the way. It's been 20 minutes, let's peel it off. Gotta get the end started. I'm scared. Wow. And the top. Oh no. I'm gonna give her a little wipe and it doesn't come off. Throw some gloss on. My shade was a little too dark, but I think this is a great idea. Eight out of 10 would recommend. I'm gonna be trying the white concealer hack. So basically you just apply the white to where you would normally conceal. And now we let it dry. I'm just gonna conceal like normal on this side so we can compare. Also just laying down my contour. Now let's just lightly blend that out. The next step is to add our foundation on top. Dotting that on where it goes. A little right there. Blend it out. The moment of truth. Adding a little more. Using my go-to powder on both sides. Getting the white concealer side. As you can see, there's definitely a big difference. Our white concealer half looks a lot more lifted. I would say it definitely just depends what kind of look you're going for. Let me know which side you guys prefer. Hi guys, today I'm going to be putting on my makeup with a toothbrush. Let's just get right into it, I guess. Putting some of this on the back of my hand. Dab, 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 dab. Okay, here we go. It looks like I got scratched by a hyena. I'm going to go for a little bit of a thicker layer over here. My sensitive skin really said no. Is it cheating if I use the back? Because the front just ain't it, Chief. This is weird. I feel weird. Okay, let me try something. Can we get some freckles? Oh no. What do we think? Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my makeup with cotton balls. Alright, I'm just going to dip that into my hand. I'm like 90% sure it's leaving little fuzzies stuck to my face. Maybe if I rub it a little bit? Okay, I think it's actually blending in decent. Let's get some concealer on. I feel like it's just taking the concealer off. Oh no, I got a fuzzy stuck in my eyelash. It actually looks pretty good, but it absorbed a lot of the product and left a little bit of residue, so I give it a 7 out of 10. Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my makeup with an ornament. I'm going to put some of this on my hand. I guess I'm just going to dip it in. I'm going to get the other side. This is not going to blend in. I'm going to pop some concealer on. There's no way it's going to get this close to my eye. Well, it sounds cool and it didn't absorb any of the product. However, it did not blend in and you can't get the under eye area. So 4 out of 10 do not recommend. Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my makeup with a candy cane. I'm so tempted to just eat this. So like, I guess I'm going to use the hook side. All right, let's get this bread. I wonder if this peppermint's gonna burn my skin. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I can already feel it burning my eyes. The things that I do for TikTok, y'all better appreciate this. This is about to be one of my biggest regrets. This is doing nothing. 
Hi guys, today I'm gonna be doing my makeup with a snowball. Give me one second. Okay, I'm putting foundation on the back of my hand. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's cold. It literally feels like it's depuffing my face. The water from the snow is mixing with the foundation and making it look so weird. Oh no. It's getting flat on the side I was using. Let me pop some concealer on. The cold snow actually feels so good on my under eyes, but it's just melting and watering down my foundation. I give the snowball a three out of 10 and would not recommend.